hello students here and vargi pawar assistant professor dg in saint andrews institute of technology and management i am back in continuation of online lecture series on company account subject so let's start this lecture here yes. in previous lectures we have this uh, we have discussed about the share capital of the company type of share capital type of shares after some accounting entries on issue of share so today in this lecture we are going to cover for feature of shares ratio of shares and some other entries on issue of share yes so see a company can issue their shares at par also at premium also at discount also okay so what is the par value when the issue price of share and face value are equal then it will be considered that company is issuing their shares at par okay when issue price and face uh, issue issue price is greater than the face value that means company is issuing their shares at premium and if issue price is less than face value that it, that means company is issuing their shares at suppose let's uh, have an example uh, if the face value of a share is 100 rupees and company is also issuing that share to the public at same price 100 rupees then that means company is issuing their shares at par if the face value of share is 100 rupees and company is issuing these shares to public at rupees 120 per share that means 20 rupees is premium and company is issuing their shares at premium and suppose face value of a share is 100 rupees and company is issuing their shares at 90 rupees that means 10 rupees is discount that means company is issuing their shares at discount okay so uh, let's see a company may issue their uh, shares at the face value or at a price other than when shares are issued at, uh, at a price equal to the face value it is it is termed as share issued at par when issue price of a share is more than the face value, it is known as share issued at premium. And if issue price of shares is less than its face value, it is called as shares issued at discount. Okay, so let's see the counting entries in uh, three of the situations, three of the conditions. Yes, uh, when company will issue the share at par, then entries will be same, same as we have discussed in previous lectures. You can see there. Now, second situation when company issue their shares at premium. What will the what entries will be passed? First, when application money received, what entry will be passed? Bank account debit to share application. And when application money will be transferred in capital account, then entry will be passed, share application account debit to share. Same entry as we have discussed in previous lecture, same entry will be passed for application. Now, when company will allot uh, use the allotment, that time what entry will be passed? See. The entry will be at the time when company will call for allotment, will do the allotment. What the entry will be passed? Share allotment account debit to share capital to security. Because in this case, company is issuing their shares at premium. Okay. So entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital to security. One thing you have to remind always is that, uh, one thing you have to remember always that, uh, Share capital and security premium will work together always. Okay, if this, uh, if the credited share capital account, then security premium account will always be credited. If we debited the share capital account, share premium account is always be debited. So one thing that you have to remember that share capital and security premium always work together. Okay, so entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital account. The same entry we have already passed. A little difference is about security premium because this time company is issuing their shares at security premium. Okay. And at the time of when allotment will be bank account debit to share allotment account, same entry as we have discussed. Okay. Now let's talk about issue at discount. According to new clause of companies at 2013, this is strictly prohibited to the companies to issue shares at discount. So after the company the 2013, a company can move share, issue the share at discount. So there is no need to study it further because it is prohibited now. So let's under, understand with an example. Okay. Shani Limited issues 
ten thousand equity shares of rupees hundred each at twenty percent premium. Premium is due at the time of allotment. The amount payable is as follows. Yes, see what is being said. That is, Charlie Limited ten thousand shares issue is issued at rupees hundred each and twenty four twenty five percent premium. So value issue price of one share is hundred plus twenty five percent premium. That means one hundred and twenty five issue price of share. And the what is the face value? Face value is hundred rupees, and the premium is hundred plus twenty five percent. That means one hundred and twenty five percent. Premium is due due at the time of allotment. Premium कब पे करना है आपको at the time of allotment. The amount payable is as follows. On January first, two thousand eighteen, on application twenty rupees. On February one, two thousand eighteen. Allotment rupees seventy five. That means twenty five rupees is premium and fifty rupees is uh, your face value. You see, uh, here question mentioned that the uh, premium will be due at the time of allotment. So uh, in allotment money, twenty five rupees is premium and fifty rupees is face value. And on first March two thousand eighteen, on uh, first and second call, thirty rupees will be cost. Okay, let's start the solution. Yes, in the books of Sahara Limited, what is the entry will be passed first entry. Uh, first, according to our procedure, company will issue the prospectus, and there is no entry has been passed uh, when company will issue the prospectus. Okay. Now, after then, uh, company will receive the application money. Then, at the time of receiving or uh, receive of uh, application money, what entry will be passed? On first January, application money will be received. That is twenty rupees per share, and total share is. Ten thousand, so ten thousand multiplied by twenty, that is two lakh rupees. Entry will be bank account debit to share application account. Twenty rupees on application and total number of share is ten thousand. Ten thousand multiplied by twenty, two lakh. Okay. Now this share application money will be transferred in share capital account. So entry will be share application account debit to share capital, that is two lakh rupees. Okay. Then on post fab allotment money will be. Base. Allotment call will be due. So let's see uh, how many shares is there? Ten thousand shares is there, and allotment money is seventy five rupees. That means fifty on face fifty uh, face value and twenty five security fee. Okay. So let's see the entry. Entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital to security fee. Twenty five rupees on security uh, security premium and fifty rupees on face value. So, fifty uh, on face value means ten thousand multiplied by fifty in this account, in share capital account, and twenty remaining twenty five rupees, remaining twenty five rupees on allotment. So, uh, on premium. So, what will be the entry? Share allotment account. On allotment, we are uh, company is receiving total rupees seventy five per share. That means total amount is seventy five multiplied by ten thousand. That is seventy seventy uh, five thousand. Sorry, seven lakh fifty thousand. Ten thousand multiplied by seventy five. It means seven lakh fifty thousand. Okay. Now, in seventy five rupees, fifty rupees should be transferred in share capital because face value of that share is fifty uh, rupees on allotment and twenty five rupees for premium. So, twenty five rupees. Per share, that means ten thousand multiplied by twenty five, two lakh fifty thousand amount will be transferred in premium account because twenty five rupees is a premium amount. Okay, and remaining five lakh will be transferred in share capital. Okay, so this entry will be passed. Now, at the time of receipt of share allotment account amount, what will be, what entry will be passed? Bank account debit to share allotment account. How much money will uh, will you see? Uh, seven lakh fifty thousand. That entry will be seven lakh fifty thousand. Seven lakh fifty thousand. The bank is receivable in this case. That's why we debited the bank. And share allotment is income for us. That's why we can receive the share allotment. Then on first call, what entry will be passed? On first call, company is calling for thirty rupees. So the total amount is on ten thousand share for the thirty rupees three lakh. So on first call, on first call, company is calling for uh, uh, thirty rupees. So, what will be the entry at the time of when, uh, at the time of first call due? What entry will be made? Share first call, share first and final call account debit 
to share capital for the prelim. And then the time of receive, uh, receive of first call, what entry will be passed? Bank account debit to person, financial to person. Okay, so this is about your entry when shares issued at prelim. Okay, now let's talk about forfeiture of shares. What is the forfeiture of shares? Basically, in simple term, forfeiture of shares it means cancellation of shares. So, forfeiture of shares means that cancellation of shares for non payment of calls is if shareholders didn't pay any, any of the calls after the due of call, then company can cancel their shares and forfeit their shares. Okay? Just one shareholder, if you call me, pay me, able to pay me, so company can cancel shares for forfeit. Uh, shares to cancel currently and the amount which a for which shareholder has already paid the company forfeits uh, this amount also. So forfeiture of the share is the process where a company forfeits the share of members of sh uh, or shareholders who fails to pay the call on shares or installments of issue price of of his shares within a 13 period of time after they due. In other words when shareholder fails to pay the full amount of share which he agreed to pay in, install, in installments, the company can cancel their share. Okay. Now, uh, here one thing you mentioned is within a certain period of time. Then, what will be the time that a company will give to shareholders to pay the uh, to pay their call money? That will be 14 days. Generally, company will give 14 days notice to shareholder to pay the to pay their unpaid call if a person fail uh, to pay their call money in 14 days then company can cancel their share or forfeit their amount also which they have already paid okay now let's see entries on forfeiture of shares what the entries will be made on forfeiture of shares there may be one or two situations for, uh, in first situation, if shares are issued at par and forfeited due to non payment of call, the following entry will be passed. If previously these shares are issued at par and now they are going to forfeit, the company is going to forfeit, then what entry will be passed? Entry C, when we issue the uh, shares, we always credited the share capital amount. Now, we are going to cancel that share capital, we are going to cancel these shares. So we will pass reverse entry. Reverse entry means when we issue the shares, we credited the share capital amount. Now we are going to cancel uh, shares. Uh, so in that case, we will debit the share capital. So share capital is debited. Called up money. The uh, the money which a company is already called from that amount, this account will be debited. Okay. Then to share forfeiture account paid up amount. The amount which a shareholder already paid uh, from that amount, this, uh, this entry will be passed to share forfeiture. Uh, that, uh, that amount is credited in the share forfeiture account. Okay. To share allotment account, which money still unpaid will be credited to share allotment account or maybe it may be share bond account. If a person, if a shareholder doesn't pay their allotment account, then we will mention uh, allotment account, we will mention to share allotment account. If a person has already paid the allotment account, then, then we will not mention this account. Okay. If a person uh, if a person paid their call money, first call money, and they doesn't pay their second call money, then we will mention only a second call money. If a person does not pay, uh, first call and second call both the money then we will show here to first call account to second call account okay so this entry will be passed when a company issues share at par and forfeited these shares then this entry will be passed okay now if these shares previously issued a premium then what will be the entries at the time of forfeiture so there may be two situations when security premium amount has been issued already or maybe security season amount has not been what the entry will be passed in first case where if the security money has been already received what entry will be passed share capital account to share allotment to share forfeiture allotment and to post uh, share capital account will be capitated with the amount which is already called okay? share 
allotment, uh, share forfeiture account. This one, share forfeiture account will be credited with the amount which company has forfeited. That uh, that with that amount, which a shareholder is already paid. Okay, and share allotment account with that money of allotment account which is not uh, still paid, and on first form the money which is not still paid. Okay. And when security premium is already received, what is it to pass? Share capital account debit, security premium account debit, to share allotment, to share forfeiture, to first form. So see, uh, previously I have told you, uh, before some time I told you, uh, share capital and security premium will work together only. So here, we uh, debited a share capital account, that's why security premium account will be today. See, both accounts will work together on this, then link together. If they will debit a share capital account, security security premium account will also be debited. If they debit a share capital account, security premium account will be debited. Okay, so this entry will be passed if security premium account will be Now, let's see the given example. See, on the expression, XYZ Limited issues. 5,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at par, payable 2 per share on application, 3 per share on allotment, 3 on first form, and 2 on uh, second form. So total money is 2 and 3, 5, 5 and 3, 8 and 2, 10. So uh, total whole of face value, whole amount of one share is divided in some installments that is application, allotment, first form, and first and final. Okay. The company allots 40 shares to Mr. Ashish. Case 1. What is the case 1? What is the situation 1? If Mr. Ashish failed to pay allotment money and company forfeits his share. And what is the second case? If Mr. Ashish fails to pay first call and on his subsequent failure to pay the final call of the company forfeits his share. So in first situation, uh, Mr. Ashish fails to pay allotment money and also for uh, call money also okay so uh and in second case ashish has fails to pay for for that means he has already paid application money and allotment money but fails to pay for for money and final okay so let's start with entry in first case what entries will be passed in first case let's see what will be the entry on Issued. See uh, here, there is no information about that uh, these shares are issued at premium or uh, hmm, sorry. Here is uh, clearly information given that shares are issued at par. That is two plus three plus three plus two is ten rupees. That is equal to face value ten rupees. Okay, that means shares are issued at par previously. So now on four feature, what entry will be passed? See on four feature entry will be passed equity share capital account debit to share allotment account. To share for future account. Okay, so let's start with entry. On uh, Mr. Ashish fails to pay allotment money. So, what is the allotment money per share? Allotment for uh, allotment money per share is rupees three. And uh, how how many shares Mr. Ashish holds? Ashish holds forty shares. So, on forty shares, according to three rupees, Ashish fails to pay. According to 40 rupees, 3 rupees on allotment, that means Ashish fails to pay 40 multiplied by 3, that is 120. So on share allotment account, 120 rupees, Ashish fails to pay. In forfeited account, what amount will be uh, credited? The amount of which Mr. Ashish is, has already paid. So on 40 shares, what amount, what amount of Ashish has paid? See, on 40 shares, Ashish has already paid 2 rupees on application. Okay, 2 rupees on application. So, in forfeited shares, 40 multiplied by 2, 80 rupees he has already paid. So, in forfeited uh, shares account, they will credit it with 80 rupees. Okay, and total of both is 200 rupees. Or you can say Ashish is fails to pay for uh, Ashish holds 40 rupees. And how much money a uh, uh, company have called 3 rupees on allotment and 2 rupees on application and after then company forfeits the share. That means company still not called for first caller, second caller. After allotment, company forfeits.
it takes the share of the ashes that means company still call for application and for allotment on there is no call made still there is no call made on first call and second call so on 40 shares 5 rupees has been called so 40 multiplied by 10 200 how how much money ashish fail to pay on 40 rupees allotment money have to uh, ashish have to fail allotment money 40 multiplied by what is the allotment money is 3 per, per share so 40 multiplied by 3 120 and how much money mr ashish have already paid 40 multiplied by 2 that is 80 so this answer will be pass okay now in case 2 If Mr. Ashish fails to pay the first call on subsequent seller bill, uh, Ashish fails to pay first call money as well as second call money. That means company uh, company has already made all the amount, all the calls made, but Mr. Ashish fails to fails to pay first call and second call. So in this case, what entry will be passed? See the entry: equity share capital amount. So on 40 shares, you have uh, company have made all the calls. That means 10 rupees already called. 40 multiplied by 10, that is 400 rupees. Now entry will be to forfeited share, to share first call, and to share second call. Uh, there uh, is no uh, account with the name of share allotment account because share, uh, Mr. Ashish has already paid the allotment money. That's why we don't mention allotment account. Okay, in the forfeited entry. So now, uh, now see, in four future account, which amount will be uh, credited? Which amount will be credited? On forty shares, Mr. Ashish already paid five rupees. That's why forty multiplied by five. Five rupees. That means Mr. Ashish paid two rupees on application and three rupees on allotment, but fails to pay three rupees on first call and two rupees on second call. So total amount which Ashish has been already paid three plus two total. That's why 40 multiplied by 5, 200. Now, which call is not paid by the Mr. Ashish first call and second call? So on first call, the uh, company made uh, company call two rupees, so 40 multiplied by three, and on second call, company call two rupees, so 40 multiplied by three, that is zero. Okay. So this is all about your Mr. Ashish. Okay. Now. We will talk about reissue of share. Next topic is reissue of forfeited share. See, we will see what is the reissue of forfeited share. The director can either cancel or reissue of forfeited shares. In most cases, they reissue such shares which may be at par, at premium, or at discount. Forfeited shares may be reissued as fully paid at par, at premium, at discount in the context. It may be noted that amount of discount allowed can only exceed the amount that had been received and forfeited shares at time of initial issue. So basically, uh, the company uh, have two options that a company can cancel the forfeited shares which the company forfeited, or company can reissue these shares to other person also. So when company can reissue this uh, these shares forfeited shares to other person, what entry will be passed? So let's understand with an example. The director of Poli Plastic Limited resolved that 200 equity shares of rupees 100 each be forfeited for non-payment of uh, second and final call of rupees 30 per share. Out of these, 150 shares were reissued at rupees 60 per share to movement show the necessary general entry. So, a uh, uh, director forfeited 200 shares. First, we will pass the entry of forfeiture. So, 200 shares has been forfeited by the company. And how much money a shareholder fails to pay? Thirty rupees a shareholder uh, fails to pay. That means shareholder already paid seventy rupees. So these seventy rupees will be credited in the forfeiture account. So what entry will be? Share capital account to share forfeiture account to share second and final account. How much money comes uh, a shareholder doesn't pay? Thirty rupees on second call. So two hundred multiplied by thirty. That means on second call. 200 multiplied by 30, 6000 rupees has not been paid. So uh, in second call, we will credit 6000 rupees. And what amount will be credited and shared forfeiture account? The amount which has already paid. 
this uh, this shareholder doesn't pay 30 rupees that means he have already paid he has already paid 70 rupees so 70 multiplied by 200 that means 14000 rupees is already paid and will be credited in the share for future amount a total amount 40000 multiplied by 6 uh, 6020 okay then at the time of reissue when company will reissue the shares company will receive uh, money on that share so see here mentioned 150 shares are issued at rupees 60 so how much money a company will receive 150 multiplied by 60 that is 9000 rupees so when uh, they debited the bank account because bank will receive that money and bank is the receiver so bank account debited 9000 rupees okay now how much money will be uh, debited in share for future account the amount of discount will be debited in share for future account so see we reissued a uh, company reissue they these share, forfeited share at rupees 60 and what is the face value of the share is 100 rupees that means on 40 rupees discount uh, this company issues these 150 shares at 40 rupees discount so 40 rupees discount will be debited in share forfeiture account so 40 rupees multiplied by 150 that is 150 multiplied by 40 150 multiplied by 40 and in share capital total of both 50. okay now remaining balance of share for future account will be transferred to capital reserve account see what amount will be transferred in capital reserve here is a note that you note see on uh, for future account we have already transferred 14,000 rupees in four centuries here see here we have transferred 14,000 rupees but these 14,000 rupees is for 200 shares Okay, so one fifth for one fifty shares, these amount will be fifty thousand. Two hundred multiplied by seventy, these fourteen thousand share uh, fourteen thousand rupees for seventy. Seven uh, these fourteen thousand rupees for two hundred shares. Now we are issuing only one fifty shares, so we have to calculate for, uh, amount of four feature on one fifty shares. So one fifty multiplied by seventy, that is ten thousand five hundred. Okay, so uh, relevant amount for share for future account for the reissue, uh, reissue of share that is 10,500 and loss on reissue of uh, that means the amount of discount on reissue is 6,000 and uh, actual uh, forfeited amount is 10,500 for the uh, for 150 shares and loss from these is 6,000 so total amount that should be uh, credited and capital reserve is 10,000 minus 1,000 that is 14,000 amount, uh, 14,000 amount of 14,000 in share for future account is for 200 shares, and we are issuing only 150 share in share. So we have to calculate the amount of for future on 150 shares that is 150 multiplied by 70 that is uh, 10,000. Uh, and we have debited 6,000 here in for future account is a difference of 6,000 and 10,500 that is 4,500. So 4,500 rupees will be transferred in capital. So this is all about your forfeiture of share, reissue of shares, and all about your issue of shares. So uh, that's it for today's lecture.